Now, Action Aid Nigeria and other civil society groups are galvanizing Nigerian girls and youths in the country to participate in the country's democratic process. This is coming in the wake of the just concluded general elections and the need for youths in the country to come up with a chatter of demand that will guide the teen and youths in the team and youths in the country in their participation in future elections. Plus TV News, Emmanuel Ehijene is a thousand this reports from our studios. Of like minds in Abuja, coming together to define the political future of the girl and youths in Nigeria. There is no gain saying that the just concluded general elections witnessed a high turnout of youths, either as political party members, observers, analysts, or party nominees for various offices. But their aspirations and expectations were quashed by the final outcome of the elections, thereby giving them a cause for concern towards the participation in future elections. This gathering therefore offers an opportunity for these young aspiring future leaders to brainstorm on the way forward. The essence of the gathering today, the convening, is to have a long deliberation, young people, irrespective of their political affiliations, irrespective of their cultural backgrounds, will be meeting to come into one agreement. And that one agreement will be bounded by the charter of demand. So this convening, at the end, we hope to have a democracy charter of demand. And the democracy charter of demand is going to carry the aspirations of young Nigerians, of young girls, and of every Nigerian that have been deprived and whose voices have not been heard. There's no better time to make demands on the process, on the structures. There's no better time, I tell you, to smash all that constitutes uh, the overlapping dynamics of power and inequality as we currently see it in Nigeria, where young people are struggling to find a seat at the table. It's great to see that this kind of platform has come up, particularly at this new season of uh, democracy, where we have find a new government in place. And I say that the young people should seize this opportunity to speak up. Members of the civil society groups also offered some thoughts on future participation of girls and youths in Nigeria's future democratic process. Any movement who wants to make a change to this country must base its aim on democracy, yes, but also social justice. It is only when you convince everybody in the country, or at least a decent amount of people, that you are not only interested in your own well-being and your own future as individuals, but as a group of people who needs to be heard, as a group of people who also cares for their neighbor, for their less privileged people in the same age group, the same gender, and so on, and so on, and so on. For us, as organizations who have come together to create the platform for this convening, all we want to do is to create the platform for you to speak out, not for us to interpret what you think, not for us to interpret what you are feeling. So this is your space. This is your chance. This is your opportunity to make your voice heard. Earlier, Ene Obi, the country director of Action Aid Nigeria, apologized over the role played by CSOs in calling out the youths at the last general elections. And I just want to commend our partners and those we are collaborating with that even looking at it and saying, don't do this alone. Come together because we are used to, you are doing a youth program in this place, you are doing in another place, you know, so many places, and you are not really weaving yourselves together. Where you are now as a youth of Nigeria, are you standing upright? Are you asking the questions that you are supposed to be asking? For me, that is my life, is the life of so many of the leaders of agencies that you see here. I will continue to stand upright. Social justice is my struggle, is a struggle for so many of you. Part of the demands by the youths will be a call for democracy charter for girls and youths, amongst others, reached at the end of the summit, which will form the basis for further engagement with all relevant stakeholders on ways to negotiate the role of youths in future political dispensations. The theme of the event is Girls and Youths Takeover. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.